Hillary Clinton making quite a claim about her plans to vastly increase the size and scope of government if she is elected. I will not raise taxes on anyone making $250,000 or less. I also will not add a penny to the debt. I have costed out what I'm going to do. He will, through his massive tax cuts, add $20 trillion to the debt. Ed Conard is former Bain Capital Managing Director and the upside of inequality author. He joins me now. So, Ed, there were a couple of things we want to unpack in that uh, statement. First of all, saying it's not all of our new programs for education, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're not going to add a dime to the, to the debt or a, a penny, she said. I remember President Obama saying Obamacare wouldn't add a dime to the debt, and clearly that has added billions. Yeah, well, she talks about raising taxes $150 billion a year when we're at one of the highest tax levels we've been at. In, As though uh, that will have no effect on the economy at sure, all. Sure, of course. So you can always balance the budget if you're willing to raise taxes right. through the moon. Now, on the other hand, she also said that Donald Trump, in that same breath, she said Donald Trump uh, is going to cost $20 trillion. His tax plan will cost... Now, the harsh, harshest critic of Donald Trump's tax plan was in the Wall Street Journal a couple of days ago, Greg Ipp, who yep. doesn't believe in the power of lowering tax rates, he said it will add six trillion. The difference between six trillion and twenty trillion is huge. That's fourteen. Where did she come up with the extra fourteen trillion? Well, I can't tell you where she came up with it, but I will tell you Greg. But she Yip just comes, made it up. Yip comes up with his from Brookings, which is a little bit on the left leaning right. side. I think right. most people on the right would say it's probably three trillion dollars. So a left wing economist who doesn't believe in the power of tax cuts said it would add six trillion and she says it will add Twenty trillion. I don't know how you could get there. You'd have to think that there was a massive reduction in growth rate, I suppose, to get to a calculation like, but so far out of the mainstream that nobody would take that seriously. I just think she made it up. I just think she totally <laughs> made. I'm people, sure she can find somebody. People are not at home with their pens and a piece of paper saying, "Let me see, this adds up to this." I mean, that's she knows that people just these these numbers go right through people's sure. consciousness when they listen. All right, she also said. This is an incredible thing. I couldn't believe it when I heard it that the that President Obama cut the deficit by two thirds as president. Now we just had the fiscal deficit listed. They have a fiscal season that the 2016 just ended. The 2016 U.S. budget deficit was 587 billion dollars. Look at the bottom line there. That's a 34 percent increase over 2015. How can she say there was a two-thirds decrease? Well, she probably goes back to the absolute worst time at 2009 when we were hemorrhaging. I think a more logical comparison would be back to 2007 when it's about 325, 350 billion dollars is the deficit. It's now up at 585. If you look at the Congressional Budget Office, it projects debt, which is now at 75 percent of GDP, up from 30 to 35 percent before Obama took office, to grow to 140 percent over the next 30 years as the baby boomers retire. And she wants to pile 150 to 200 billion dollars right. a year of additional spending on top of that. I mean, it really is. No, a, but Ed, a you're, you're a money guy. Disaster. You're a numbers cruncher. You know how to do it. That's what you did at Bain. Uh, when you see people throw away num numbers like this, just throw them out. Add it, just made up out of whole cloth, what do you think? Well, I, I think it's uh, uh, the media has to come in behind it and really clarify for the people who are interested. Well, we're trying to, to make do that numbers. right here, but I don't see a lot of other people. Yeah, I don't think you see that at all. I think it's all theater. When you get to the, uh, to the debates, people are throwing out a lot of uh, strange numbers, to be sure. Does it make you pessimistic? I'm optimistic about America, but am I pessimistic about the direction of the economy and where we are? Yes. Ed Conner, good to see you, Ed. Thank you very much Thank for being you. here.